Here we go, Dagular CHT. Yeah, play Knight F6. Maybe go for a Nimza. Ah, he's setting up like he wants to play. A Catalan, but he hasn't. Um... Okay, we'll try the check line. We'll... This is a line where you give a check here. Ah, he brings the knight out. And then we'll play d5. Okay, normally they block with the bishop, and then you retreat the bishop back if they want to play the Catalan. So it's not quite a Catalan. Let's see. What happens if he plays the queen check? Queen check, knight here, blocking, defending the bishop. Pawn takes. Queen takes pawn. Or knight takes pawn, either one. So it's all good. Still, I think I'd like to uh, castle here. It is tempting to take and then play the knight here. Or here. Just to pile up. Okay, so he put his bishop over there, so now I'll take. And... Uh, block block the center like this so I, I can think about playing my knight here I think I'll go for that it's kind of slow right I'm making a lot of moves but um, oh there's no more pressure on his knight okay so let's uh, scratch that plan let's bring the other knight up Maybe I'll play um, yeah, I guess the bishop's not doing much there anymore. Maybe I'll play uh, C C5 here to undermine the center. He has a good bishop on the diagonal, so he's got the Catalan set up here. Just uh, a slightly different move order. Let's see if there's uh, <clears throat> in the postmortem, maybe we'll check out uh, the uh, Situation, see if there was a different uh, way to play those moves, different move order. That could take advantage of the way white was playing. Sometimes those little variations don't really make <clears throat> much difference, too. Okay, now he brings the queen up. So knight here hits the queen, defends the pawn for the moment. I'm not necessarily holding on to that pawn, just uh, just long enough to annoy annoy my opponent. And um, well, where is the queen going after I play knight here? And then the knight can go to um, the knight can go to uh, d5. Probably let's uh, let's push this pawn first here. Okay, so he's going to take here with an attack on my queen and hitting my knight. So a double double attack. If I go here with the queen, he's going to play his knight to here. So I guess I will step over here. So <laughs> maybe I've done something wrong. That doesn't feel like the right way to play this. And uh, putting a knight on d5 is uh, can be met by e4. Then I can take. Not clear at all. D5. 
but uh, okay he's got to find a move and he found that one that's yeah, not bad so let's uh, take first and we can take here and uh, put the bishop on this diagonal here looking at the knight uh, I forgot about that. Or I overlooked that, I should say. When did that happen? Oh, that happened after the exchange. When I did this exchange, it brought the bishop forward, lined up on my h-pawn. Uh, Okay, I want to uh, kick, kick that knight away. That's a funny move. Is there a mate here? <laughs> so I take the knight, queen check. I go here, bishop check. Okay, I guess I have to play that. Keep the queen from coming into uh, the h file. Knight still has to go back. Yeah, it goes there. And um, so now I can get my bishop out, bishop here. Pins the knight. His dark squared bishop is still shut in and um, I want to bring a rook over here. <clears throat> He can take the uh, B pawn, but uh, I decided it was better to just uh, get some pieces out rather than keep defending that. Okay, maybe he's lining up for a sacrifice, but um, could also be that he's just unpinning his um, unpinning his knight. Here, let's uh, trade off that rook. <coughs> Give my queen some squares. Ah, I was able to get his bishop out. Is that working though? Say pawn here. Hmm. Yeah, I guess that's okay. Okay, I'm going to get my queen out uh, over here. And uh, yeah, he's piling up there. So I can trade off the knight to relieve the pressure. I don't have to, but if I don't do that, then the knight can't go to uh, e d d5 there, which is kind of where I want it to go. Yeah, let's just take that. So the queen, the queen and the rook are supporting the knight. I'm hitting the bishop. So I have three pawns here and three pawns here. He has four and two. So a lot of my pawns look a bit funny. It's uh, the material is still even at this point. So we just trade it out, okay? Um, so it looks like this is a pretty even position still. Or again, I think he was better for a while.
Do I care? <clears throat> Can I attack something instead of defending? <laughs> Don't see it. Didn't see the attack. If he plays um, f4 there, maybe it'll mess up my pawn structure. I take, trades queens. Ah, that's a problem. I can't take because he trades queens and then my bishop is hanging, so. Or I can pile up that way. Let's uh, defend the queen and the pawn. Yeah, he spotted that idea. So I'm going to lift my king up here. Then after he takes, I'm going to move my bishop somewhere. I'm not sure where. Well, that's not good, is it? Yeah, let's uh, maneuver the bishop around this way. Oh, well, let's wait till he takes, though. want to control this square so we can't play rook to e3 and I have this square it's kind of attractive looking hitting hitting this pawn the check and now I can take it if queen takes I take the rook So I moved. Can I check the king again somehow? Okay, I need to get back to this diagonal to cover the uh, d6 square. Yep, he can do that. That is true. Got I've got rook c8 as a way to get to the back rank. And the queen is looking at h3 as well as his rook. Mm -hmm. So he's looking for ways to penetrate here. sense. Still want to try and get this rook on an open file. Though maybe the h file was a candidate. Rook h8 and queen h3. Once again I'm threatening to take the bishop and then take the rook. Exploiting the overloaded queen. It's the theme of this game. Ah, so he decides to give up the uh, exchange here. Okay, I guess he thinks he will mate me in the corner. I guess he will. <laughs> ah, I can block like this. So the thing I realized is I, I could move my king here, and I thought I was walking out, but his pawn is guarding the escape square there. But this works too.
It's a dangerous looking pawn, but I don't see how I can defend it. It's on a dark square. If he pushes it forward, it'll be on a light square, and then I'll be able to take it. And uh, on the dark square, he can't get his bishop to support it in time. I don't see a way for him to do that. Because I just have Rick over and up. So he resigned. Yeah, it didn't work out for his benefit. Anyway, we will check this out in the postmortem, and I will see you guys later. Bye.